All right, here we go with another Wood Wars then. This time against Darth Physicist. So, fresh blood. Brand new coach. Not new to Blood Bowl at all. I've seen him a lot in the Steam community in general. But he's new to our league, so he's going to be down as a fresh, fresh blood coach. I'm suffering a little bit from cat allergies at the moment, so uh, yes, I have a cat and I'm allergic to them. Uh, it's just the way it is. But um, hopefully I can power through. At least that's the plan. So, for this video, Duff has just said he would take a team that he doesn't particularly like. He took Necromantic, and I also have a team I don't particularly like, because I'm not good with Elves or Skaven, and I'm playing High Elves. With the Wooden Elves. And the Wooden Elves are singing... I'm too sexy for my shirt. But I'm wearing one, so there. And with the Necromantic team in the left corner, dressed up as referees for some reason, singing Rattle and Bones. I think he only opted for one flesh golem, apparently. That's interesting. That can't be right. Let's have a look at that again in a second. Anyway, coin flip. What are we going? What are we getting? What are we getting? It's his flip. I haven't played this game in a while. It's been a couple of days since recording, so what have we got? We've got Necromantic want to receive. Oh, no, he did go for both, of course. So each of his uh, guys are named after different types of clothing brands. And my guys are all named after characters from the Bible. Don't know why, this is what I went for. And we're both playing teams that we're not particularly comfortable playing, so it's going to be a fairly even matchup in that regard. <laughs> Dark Physicist is well known in our community for his tabletop teams. He paints them and, show, and showcases them to us, and they're, they're very nice. He does a very good job. He also has a dog, a Shiba, who uh, I'm not a big fan of dogs, but at least I don't hate this one, so... And none of them are on the pitch. The dogs are unrelated to Mishiba, I believe. So, starting with a reroll. That's a good stuff for us. And a fantastic uh, throw, because the Hales don't kick. All right. Let's see what he's going to do here, then. We're going for a slow push here, or no push even. We're not following with these tackles, which is fair enough. Yeah, we're just holding the line. I like it, I like it. It's a good strategy, actually. Good for keeping the ball in a safe a safe distance from the opponent. Oh, but we did follow up with the golem. Okay. I'm actually playing Darth Physicist in the steel league this season we're both playing chaos and we are the two chaos teams that have to develop separately and hopefully i develop better the first game will be out tonight i guess and that's a reroll gone already and we didn't quite get the worth out of it unfortunately And Wolfie goes back for the ball. Pickup is good. It would have been bad news for him if he went off the pitch. Well, it could have been bad news for him. So let's see what I can do in return here. I'm mostly focusing on picking off pieces on their own, though I do have a two die on this zombie, so I'm going to put him down pretty quickly with a blitzer. I also have a two die here. Now that we set up the field, I can move some pieces into a screen. And blitz with this piece. Uh, I guess I'm going to take down the wolf with the blitz. Oh no, I blitz with the flower. Okay, but still taking down the wolf. Yeah, that's fair. Good kick on the wolf. Good kick. Good hit on the wolf. Puts him out of the way. And keeps me in a good defensive position. I'm not too sure about the free elves on the flesh column, but otherwise, pretty happy with that. Uh, 
Tails are pretty resilient with AV8. I do actually prefer playing an all, an all lineman high elf team usually, but I did opt for a couple of positionals this time around. Stay nice and centered, well out of the way. This is a good play from Darth again. Even though he's a fresh coach to the league, like I said, he is an experienced coach and it's showing. He, um, he's very good at positioning. That's one thing that I will say for him from the get go. And there's Enoch. Stunned. It's okay, we didn't need our moral pillar. And Abel is knocked out. Oh well. Not so able after all. Right, we're going to take two dives wherever we can here. Using the catcher in support is usually better than using the catcher as a throw, but as a block. Blitzer does well though. We knock down Reebok because nobody wants to see Reebok standing for too long. And we finally do some elf dodging. Only took one turn. Oh yeah, catchers don't have strength 2 in high elf team. This is what really confuses me, because the human high elves have strength 2, but high elf... Human high elves? Human catchers have strength 2, but high elf catchers have strength 3, and we fail at dodge. We're not rerolling that. No, even though it was our blitz. That'd be a waste of a reroll. I'm hoping that he spreads out his team here, so I can basically dodge into the middle and take the ball. Though, I don't think he's going to fall for that fairly basic, though totally legitimate strategy. I know he hasn't. He's set up a line here, which is uh, very nicely done, I might add. And picking off a weak link, that's fair enough. And Moses is knocked out. Well, we're not parting the river this much, that's for certain. And we're going to have a pow against one of my glitzes, which is bad news. But he's going to stay upright. And where's the wolf going to go? Yep, to that side. That's very fair. Very well done by Darth Physicist here. Made a defense trying to force him to spread out, but he hasn't gone for it, so I'm going to have to reposition the team now. Probably should have followed there to unlock the thrower, but I didn't. But all the same, catcher is all on his own, so we can get out of the way, and we can take a two die on the white. If I knocked him down, I may have followed, but no point in following when it's just a push, just puts my piece in trouble, so not doing that. Oh, that's nice though. Bye bye jeans. Rip jeans, yeah, rest in peace. Miss next game for Levi. And he's not coming back. That's bad news for Darth. And it also means I can take a pretty straightforward push, push. One die block against Tommy. And I can send another one in for support if he does decide to push forward. He's at the ball pretty easily, though there isn't really anywhere safe for him to go with it, so he'd be best off just staying still, to be honest for now. He's forces me to punch my way through. Maybe not staying still, maybe going the other way, but not advancing. There's no point. Though if he screens off the zombie pretty well, he's got a good safe spot for the ball here. Because the zombie's free as well. But we're blitzing with the zombie. That's fair enough. Mm. 
Where's the wolf going? The wolf is actually advancing, but not too far. Not sure about that, because I have a piece actually right next to him. It's just a lineman, but uh, if I can push down this zombie, get one piece out, I can get a pretty solid... Oh, I picked up the blitzer, that was silly. The blitzer should have blitzed there, but he didn't. I see him doing it in a very strange way. Very strange way indeed. I don't know what I was doing there. What I should have done, realistically, is put down the zombie maybe, and pull this one round, uh, one die the wolf, and then pick up with him. That would have been the best way to play there, but that's not what I did. So, I don't know what I was thinking there, that was just strange play on my on my half. And Darth has been given a chance to really capitalize on that and take us to 1-0. And injuring alignment is certainly going to help his chances. No Apos, because it's first round. Uh, neither of us have seen Acromantic. Never have an Apo, but I don't have an Apo either, because first game. Rookie team. It's very rare I take an Apo on a rookie team. I'd much rather have an extra reroll than an Apo game one. Alright, and Wolf is going to go into a nice secure position. Ah, uh, he's actually going to score. That's fair. There was no secure position, to be fair. So, 1 0 for Dog. Well done. Hat monsters are doing well, and you're playing pretty well with Necromantic. You say you hate them, but it's been fine so far. And the Sheba will be proud watching a fellow dog score the first touchdown. So, one high elf out injured. Two KOs, which are staying out. Injured Perigenes. The white from Necro and no chaos, so we're going 8 against 10. Plenty of time for me to return score uh, this half, so I'm glad I managed to pressure him enough to score early. Gives the high elves a good chance to do some damage just before we go into half time. It's definitely going to be my goal. I want to end the half one all. I actually opted to keep the pieces off the flash going, which I think is fair enough. I just left one piece in punching range. At least I hope so. Yes, I did. So, so long as there's no perfect defense or blitz, we'll be fine. And quick snap is good. It means that we can pull this piece out of tackle zones as well. And we're going to aim for this side, it looks like. So I'm going to do the same here, probably, yes. Yeah, I do move out of tackle zone, good. I've left these two unbased, though, that's interesting. I actually think I'm going to play this way. I'm just bluffing with this side at the moment. That's how I often do things, anyway. Wow, that was... that was impressive. I ghosted my way through the zombie. The zombie went down, though. It's kind of a delayed reaction punch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that my main goal here is to take the ball this way. Though, if I remember rightly, I did something really weird here. Uh, I aim for a pickup. Pickup works, and then I ran into a really stupid position and try a pass. Yeah, that's that's awful. That was um. Yeah, my 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 high elf noobishness is really showing this game. I think because that was ridiculously bad, as was the positioning with the blitzer. What I should have done there really is keep the ball back here somewhere. Uh, forcing the team forward and then pass it up, that would have been the right way to play elves here, I think. Though, what I've done instead is I've left pieces exposed to being attacked, and I've lost the ball, letting him go 2-0 in, in the first half, potentially. Which is a uh, abysmal play on my part, on my part, really. I think I should do this more, I think I should do this live more, maybe, where I'm talking through exactly what I'm doing 
just so I can see my mistakes more clearly. I may try that. I may try one live game a week from now on. I'm actually going to change the schedule anyway because uh, it's it was tricky basically as it is. So I may try one live recording a week. One Wood Wars because I've got way too many going on otherwise. One Rebel game. And all of the cups of course. So that should be something like six games a week, which is a lot to record. And I may take one or two CCL in. I actually had three good CCL games recently, but I, I simply don't have time to record them, so I'm not going to be putting them up. And the ball goes right into the catcher's hand on that tackle, which uh, is not where I wanted it to go, I think. Not at all, but uh, there could be worse options than that, I guess. The only problem is he's very exposed there, so... Yeah, I would have much preferred it to break out, throw a picks it up and pass to an elf, because as it is I'm going to have to use elves in defense, whereas I'd rather have them out way deep in attack. And I fail a dodge there, so that's going to be good enough to move on to necro turn. That might be the way. I might do Wood Wars live from now on. I think that's maybe an option. And I'll just post the live coverage so you can actually hear the coach himself as well, maybe. That might be the way I do it from now on, in fact. Or I could start a new series of live games that could work too. Mm. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see one way or the other. Right, we should be going for a blitz here from Wolfie here to try and surf this piece. That we do want the ball down. So actually, when I look back at it, then... Yeah, that's, that's a good play. Because there's no, there was no piece standing on him. Freeing up the ball means that Wolfie can pick it up, in theory. Yes, he can. And right into a better position. Yeah, this first half of High Elves has not been good. Though I think Darth Isis has been playing very well. I've made it a little bit easy for him with some strange decisions, but overall, I uh, can't complain about the way he's playing, that's for certain. Now I'm going to leave that piece there, uh, that little bit of bait to stop the 2-0, though I am going to go for the ball, that's going to be the primary goal here. Because I do have two turns to score, so I want to get the ball down, pick it up, run it out, pass. That's the basic plan here. But that's not good enough. On the plus side, it stops him from scoring. On the downside, that's simply not good enough. Well, he can still score, but it's a lot harder now. And actually, I don't think he can score. Uh, no, he can't even score, so that's fine. That's the end of his... That's the end of his ball handling. This half, basically. Surf is good. No, no injury comes from it. So, one thing is for sure. Darth Physicist is not overly greedy, so that's one thing to watch out for if you are going to play against him. Uh, Yusinde is probably my biggest competition in Steel, but I think that Darth Physicist is proving himself the second biggest, for certain. If not, joint biggest. So, those two games are games that I really have to play well. Are we going to go for a zombie pickup? I hope so. Nope, he's just going to make it hard for me to take the ball. That's fair. I have nothing else to do, so may as well go straight for the ball. Fail the pickup. End of the turn. <laughs> Fail it twice. Uh, way to elf. Alright, and half time. One nil to the pack monsters and dark physicist who can play very well. One injury still. Uh, two KOs, one of which comes back. Lineman comes back, or catcher. Still one injury on the side of the pack monsters, so we are ten against nine during the second half. One nil to Darth physicist. Uh, the second half apparently was much shorter than the first half. That's interesting. Looking at that. Uh, 
All right, let's see what happens here then. Pat monsters get the extra TV roll this time, and the ball goes straight into the elf hands. That's good news. Gives me a chance to go one all very quickly. It's probably going to be my goal here, because if I'm going to win, I'm going to have to take the score very quickly. In three turns, I think would be the aim. Though with how badly I'm playing, I wouldn't be surprised if I just completely screw this up. I need to have a lot more practice with elves, that's for certain. I'm not a big elf fan. Never have been, and uh, it shows when I'm playing as them, I think. Yeah, you see, I probably would have even been better... I don't know why I blocked that way. I would have been better off blocking that way. But uh, there we go. Made a mistake again, and uh, tried to fix it, and it failed. Not going to reroll though, because that's just a waste. So let's see what Updaft does in response here. One thing Darth hasn't fallen for this whole game is this whole one side play I do, though he has brought the wolf over. So what I tend to do when I'm playing these kind of teams is force the whole team this way and then try and speed my way around the other way. So basically the opposite team that is slower is always out of position when I'm moving the ball. That at least is the goal, but uh, Darth Piss is did very well with positioning, very well indeed. I was quite impressed by him actually. And. Uh, even with us both playing a team we're not very comfortable with, it means that I'm pretty outmatched, outclassed in this matchup as a result, because he's just positioning so well. And I wasn't. And catcher goes night night. Which means that he can actually get onto the ball. Yep. I can get out quite easily. I mean, I do have a lot of space over here that I'm going to try and utilize. If I don't try and utilize, then that's a mistake, but in theory, that's what I should be doing. I'm going to do it slowly, I think, by bringing up some pieces and just locking off this area, basically. That's good enough. Dodge out the blitzer first, not sure about that when I look back at it, but there we go. Now the ball carrier. Not the best position for him, so we'll do a pretty straightforward pass, which fails. Have to reroll. And why I did that, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, and failing GFI down here, that I didn't really need to do again. Stops the wolf from surfing him, that was the one reason I have I can see for doing that, but looking back at it, I don't really understand what I was doing. This I don't really understand what I was doing this game at all, looking back at it. But there we go. Sometimes games are like that. The only reason I can see for doing this is that it's harder to easily hit the ball carrier, but uh, if that failed, then that's a nightmare for the ball carrier, so I'm glad that I didn't fail that dodge at least. I've still got plenty of space for running at the moment. He really needs to put at least this piece down. Which he does. And follow up, meaning I have to dodge. Yep. And Wolf can actually blitz the ball. That's bad news for me. And now it goes down. Ball lands in a good place for the Wolf. Could have, could have even picked that up, but he chose not to. Uh, interesting, actually. You probably should have picked that up. Uh, even though it's going to be hard for me to pick it up, it does give me a chance to get away again. And the white's going to pick up. Fair enough. Yeah, well done. That's going to be very hard for me to slow down, so... Perfectly executed there, Darth Physicist. Perfectly. We're going to take a block against and we're going to have to re-roll it. The ball goes down. Hopefully it will scatter towards the catcher. That's the hope here. It doesn't though. It scatters again into the hands of an elf, which is awful for me. I don't want the ball in this position. Definitely not. 
though I do screen off as best I can, but that was one of the worst scatters I could have had. The only thing worse would be into the wolf's hand. Dap is very good at marking and picking the order in which he does things. Two things that, uh, well, any basic coach should be able to do, but uh, not many coaches can actually do it so well. He, um, he makes very good decisions when he's planning his turn. That much is clear. And that's not good enough. Have to re-roll. Yep. Push is fine. Yeah, that's unfortunate for him. And the injury is even more unfortunate. But it's not going to affect him too much, to be fair. Uh, regen is definitely helpful anyway. My best play here is dodge out, pass out, but um, I don't know what I'm going to actually do here. Because it's been a while since I've played the game. Picking up pieces, of course, is priority, though. Maybe get a blitzed this piece so I could dodge out and make... Oh, okay, I did it that way. That works too, but I can't pass this way. Well, I made myself a gap, that's fine, though I prefer the pass play there, dodging with this piece, dodging with, uh, sorry, blitzing with this piece, dodging this piece out, out, ball comes out, and pass would have been a bit better, though looking at it doesn't make much difference. <coughs> Not sure I needed to dodge that last elf either, so that was maybe... My own fault for getting stunned there. Though the way I've done this actually isn't so bad. It's pretty hard for him to get to me this turn. Certainly not impossible though. Certainly not. But he needs to put the ball down if uh, he doesn't want me to score. Which he's going to do by dodging, I guess. No. Okay, he's going to at least base me then. Zombie does damage here. Yeah, I can see I can see what he's doing here. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty secure in my uh, ability to go one wall here. Though I do have to dodge without a reroll, which is bad news. Well, the other option is Blitz, that's probably better actually. Well, it's 2 plus 2 plus anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Well, let's see what I do anyway. One or the other, I've got to roll a 2 in order to score. That's all I've got to do. Picking up just in case it goes wrong. Uh, go wrong it does. Oh, go very wrong it does. Uh, Abraham is resurrected and he becomes a zombie. With no head. Don't forget the no-head. That's game-changing. That should have been a pretty straightforward 1-0, but uh, that means that he, our physicist is going to pick up the ball, have the numbers, and uh, we're looking at 2-0 here. Uh, a very simple 2-0, to be honest. But it's fair. My, uh, my first turn was awful, and he's been playing very well, so I think the play is very representative of the way we've both played. I'm happy to concede the 2-0 to him here and not say that luck or anything else had anything to do with it, just bad play on my side and good play on his. So, welcome to the league, Darth. You've, uh, you've outshone yourself, really. It's a good introduction for you. I'm still going to try and make this one all, but um, even at this point when I'm looking at it, when I was looking at it in game, when I'm looking at it now, I can see that it's uh, it's very much Dalphys's game at this point. There's not very much I can do to stop him. Mm. Yep, with all the numbers here. Uh, I could dodge, take a hit, and try and pick up the ball of another piece. Should have been that piece I picked up with, though, so I screwed that up. I am going to dodge, and I am going to fail. 
which makes it easy for him to run down here. Should have picked this piece up first, don't know why I didn't. But there we go. Wolf runs well out of the way. Uh, that's it, that's that's 2-0. I'm not stopping him now. Even with dodging L's, I don't feel comfortable stopping him. My options, of course, are were dodge out, but uh, he could just reposition so he makes it almost impossible for me to dodge, which is exactly what he will do, because he's a logical and very good coach. Push is good enough, gets him out of the way, the zombie can now further lock up this glass piece, and it makes one less space where he can move. Yeah, with the reroll, the hit's fine, pretty safe, secures the ball. Not sure about the follow-up, but um, that's fine. The zombie is going to lock off the last spot though, so that's not a problem. The zombie was going to lock up people away, that's why I wasn't sure about the follow-up, but he did it so good. And that's all my elves, but one down. Good enough. I have to try something a bit crazy to try and stop him, so that's what's going to come, I guess. Or maybe I've just given up even. To try and do a little bit of damage at the end. I think this piece is best to try it with. No, okay, I'm going to try it with this piece. Well, it doesn't make much of a difference, and it fails anyway, so there we go. Darth can even stall for one turn if he wants to, and why not? Yep, let's put down this last elf, and I'm not stopping him. He's just making sure that elf's going nowhere, even if he does fail the roll, which is very well played. He should be hitting with this one. And he does. He gets a good free die out of it. Push is good enough, but he may as well knock him down. Yep. Let him push again. No big deal. The elf still can't get to him. Nope, definitely can't get to him. And he may as well try and put this one down. Success. That's all he needs to do. He's gonna blitz. Okay, that's fair. I think he needs to GFI in order to blitz though. Yeah, he did once. And just gets a push. Which doesn't change the game at all. I cannot get to the ball, so I'm just gonna try and do some damage. Very well played, Duff. Very well played. I, I felt it when we were playing, but um, looking back at it, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind. He played this game very well. And I didn't. And there's a 2 0 run from the wolf. Well done. Calvin scores this time, who I'm pretty sure was the second wolf. That, that's good enough. We go in 2 0. Let's have a look then. So, man of the match. Enoch, the lineman, got man of the match for the High Elves, and Ralph, the flesh golem, got man of the match for the Necromantic. Uh, one touchdown, one pass, one death, six armor breaks, two touchdowns, 13 armor breaks. And uh, with the SPP then, it was pretty even with the SPP actually, I was quite happy with that result after being pretty heavily smashed by Necros. So Enoch, the lineman, got the MVP of course, Isaac the thrower got one from the throw. Actually no, I think Isaac is a lineman, Noah's the thrower, so Isaac is a lineman. And Moses and Yosef both got two from doing damage to a piece. I'm pretty sure these are both blitzers. Not sure about Yosef, actually. I think Joseph is maybe a lineman as well. Moses is definitely a blitzer, though. And then with the pant monsters, Ralph, the monster, Docker. Docker, I think, was one of the whites. And then the two werewolves, of course, got a score each. So that's a pretty good game. And I look forward to playing Darth again in a more competitive game where hopefully I play better. So, we've got that to look forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching for now. I've got a few more videos to do after this, but uh, I am going to try and change the format of the channel a bit, because otherwise it's just too much work. So, I may make one more video just highlighting all of that as well. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. May Nuffle smile on you all. Bye-bye.